And so this is the Quest Kitchen, guys. Wow. Yeah. Full stock of ingredients. Uh, working stoves. You uh, have to be to shoot in this place, Mike. You'd have to be a top YouTuber. Oh, so guys like me and A Brent. top YouTuber. Mm. Hold on one sec. Hello? Very well. I'm on my way. Sorry, guys. We gotta take this. You guys can hang out here for 10, 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Just yeah. don't touch anything. We'll be back. Yeah, right. yeah. Cool. Bye. We'll be hanging. Don't touch anything. Do you thinking what I'm thinking? Let's do this. Welcome to the brand new Buff Dudes Kitchen. Me and Hudson have been slaving away for a couple weeks now building this by hand. That's right, just to bring you dudes and girls quality content. So we're about to get this recipe started. We only have about 15 minutes, unfortunately, because uh, busy, you know, schedule and whatnot. But this is gonna be the brownies. And these are made by black beans. So if you're vegans out there, you're gonna love this recipe. We're about to get started. These are the ingredients you're gonna need for the black bean brownies. Black beans, flaxseed, Pam spray, sugar, salt, cocoa, coconut oil, baking powder, vanilla extract. So we got the ingredients ready. We already opened the 15 ounce can of black beans. We strained them with the strainer here, rinse them off to get them ready. So we're gonna let them sit for now. Who thought black beans could be a delicious brownie? Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you get buff. Okay, so we're moving on. We're gonna make the flax egg, which is a substitute for a normal egg because this is a vegan recipe. So what you wanna do is have two tablespoons of flax seed right in the food processor here. Bam, dump it in. Now you're gonna take the same tablespoon and you're gonna add five tablespoons of water to get that nice liquidy consistency of an egg. Yeah. We're missing one ingredient, one healthy dose of explosion. Now we're good to go. Put the lid on. Now, just gonna grind this up a little bit. Okay, it's gonna let sit for about two to three minutes while we get all the other ingredients ready to go. So now you're gonna take three tablespoons of coconut oil. You're gonna put it in the microwave. 10 to 15 seconds depending on the hardness of the coconut oil itself. What you wanna do is melt it down to a liquid form before putting it in your recipe. Beautiful. Three tablespoons of melted coconut oil is gonna go in with the flax eggs that we made earlier. We're gonna keep the wet with the wet in here and the dry all in here. It's gonna be separated so that way once we're done we can combine them both and it's a lot easier that way. So next up is gonna be the three-fourths of a cup of cocoa. Three-fourths of cocoa, that's beautiful right there. Three-fourths cup, you put that right in there, bam! Okay, so now we're gonna go one teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're gonna put it with our wet ingredients here in the food processor, let that sit. One and one half teaspoon of baking powder in our dry ingredients here. Bam, right in. And now with the salt, one fourth of a teaspoon. Last one on the list is gonna be the sugar. Half a cup of sugar, in fact. This is gonna add the sweetness and cover up that black bean flavor, which is important. So when you bite do a brownie, you don't wanna taste the beans, you wanna taste the sweetness. Okay, so now that we got all the liquid here and all the dry here, we're gonna combine them both and mix this up. I'm gonna close that up and start this going. And you want the consistency of a little runnier than frosting. If it is running a little too thick, you wanna add about a tablespoon of water to make sure that it's gonna make it more of a battery kind of consistency. Okay, so that's all good. Now, we're gonna use a little bit of the pan spray on the muffin tin here. Just a little squirt in each hole. <laughs> and you're just gonna take a spoon here. I'm gonna scrape this out. And it's gonna lay it right in the hole. Now we have all the black bean brownie mix in the pan, it's all distributed evenly. We're gonna add a little bit of topping to that, which is off personal preference, but we're gonna add a little bit of crushed walnuts to the tops of these, add a little crunch there when you bite into them, add a little bit more flavor. A little extra healthy omega-3 fats. All done, 
Now the oven has been preheated to 350 degrees, so we're gonna just slide this right in there. Set the timer for 20 minutes and they will be done. So 20 minutes are up. We're ready to take the brownies out of the oven. Oh, that's looking good. You can tell they're done. Now they're gonna be sitting there for about 30 minutes to make sure they cool down and ready to pop them right out of the pan there. We will see you when they're done to taste them. So we let them cook for about 20 minutes. Now this is all gonna depend on your personal oven. Could cook them up to 25 to minutes to make sure they cook all the way through. Once you pull them out, you're gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes to make sure they cool down and can come out of the pan easily. Now that they're out of pan, we're about to taste them. Stop, man. What? They're gonna be back. It's been almost 15 minutes. Oh, shoot. Wait, what about the brownies? Screw it, man. Go, go. <laughs> All right, guys. Tour's over. It's time to head out of here. Not bad. I guess you could say these are buff dudes approved. We hope you dudes and girls enjoyed that episode, and we want to give a big thank you to Mike, Ivan, and the rest of the Quest Nutrition crew for making this episode possible through the use of their kitchen. See you next time, dudes and girls.